good afternoon and thank you for joining us on this Memorial Day as we remember those who died while serving our country. We begin with a beautiful sunrise shots of the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. This morning, millions of people across the U.S., of course, remembering those who lost their lives while fighting for our country. And here at home, just moments ago, County Executive Adam Bellow and others gathering to break ground on a brand new memorial, the War on Terror Memorial. And Kayla Green is live at Highland Park with much more on this. Good afternoon, Kayla. Good afternoon, Leah. Yeah, the ceremony happened right here behind me to honor the groundbreaking of that War on Terror memorial. And this is where it will stand when it's finished being built. Now, it will recognize the memory of service members from Monroe and nearby counties who died serving our country from 1990 to current times. The new memorial will feature 10 concrete columns that display military emblems. The centerpiece of the memorial will be a life-size battlefield cross statue with boots, gun, and helmet of a fall and soldier on a raised pedestal. A $250,000 grant from New York State for construction of the memorial was made possible through the efforts of New York State Senator Joseph Robach. Dan and Rita Hazenauer from Hilton were at today's ceremony. They lost their 21-year-old son Jason in 2005 while he was serving in Afghanistan. And for us, it's, it's nice that it's a place for us to come and just sit and think and remember and not just for my son, it's for all the fallen. Construction is set to start here next spring in Highland Park on the Memorial. Live in Rochester, Kayla Green, News 8.